Interesting facts about London you didn't know. Welcome to our channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel to join our family. You're looking for fun facts about London to boost your wanderlust? London is one of the greatest cities on earth, and it's extremely easy to enjoy it. To really catch its soul and fall in love, you need to learn about all the quirkiness of the place. And trust me, London is one of the most peculiar cities out there. Being the center of the modern world for the last thousand years, England's capital survived a few odd incidents and developed some bizarre traditions. From the Pineapple Cathedral to the Great Stink of 1858, here are the 18 most interesting London facts. Number 1. Who is Big Ben? We start our interesting facts about London with the most iconic landmark in town. While everyone knows what Big Ben is, very few people know that Big Ben is not the tower's real name. That's right, the original name was simply the clock tower, while the bell inside was called Big Ben. In 2012, the tower was renamed Elizabeth Tower, but everyone still refers to it as Big Ben. Number 2. No armor in the Houses of Parliament. Enacted in 1313 and never removed to this day, the Act decrees that, in all parliaments, treatises and other assemblies, which should be made in the realm of England forever, that every man shall come without all force and armor. So if you plan a visit to the Houses of Parliament, better leave your armor back in the hotel. Number 3. To become a black cab driver is not an easy task. The next of our fun London facts is about the taxis. You know the iconic black cabs? It turns out becoming a driver of one of those is not an easy task at all. Each potential driver must complete a rigorous test called the knowledge, which involves memorizing every street or alley in London. Every single one. It takes years and a lot of walks for the future cab drivers to learn them all. No wonder they charge so much. Number 4. Please mind the gap. London has the oldest underground network in the world. Built in 1863, today, the tube is used by 1.265 billion people every year. Ironically more than half of the London underground network runs above the ground. Maybe that's why most Londoners refer to it as the tube instead of the underground. Another fun tube fact is that when it was first proposed, the idea was for the tunnels to be filled with water, so people can move via barges from station to station. Another proposal was horse carriages that carry people in the dark, but eventually, it was decided that steam trains would be the best. Number 5. London has an eye. London has the highest Ferris wheel in Europe, the London Eye. Its 32 capsules can carry 800 people each rotation, comparable to 11 London Red double-decker buses. If you are lucky to catch a clear day, you can see up to 40 kilometers from the top. Despite London Eyes having 32 capsules, for superstitious reasons, they are numbered 1 to 33, missing number 13. Number 6. Peter Pan Hospital. This next fact is a cute one. In 1929, Peter Pan playwright and novelist J. M. Barry was approached to take part in a Great Ormond Street Hospital Committee to buy land for a badly needed new medical wing. He replied that, on principle, he never lent his name to appeals but would see what he can do. A few months afterward, he donated Peter Pan's copyrights to the hospital. Earning millions of pounds since then, it's safe to say this was one of the most generous gifts ever. Number 7. St. Pineapple Cathedral. The Cathedral of St. Paul is one of the most distinctive London landmarks. But do you know, that Sir Christopher Wren's first design proposal for the cathedral was basically a giant pineapple? Apparently, he saw pineapples as, a symbol of peace, prosperity, and hospitality and thought it would be an excellent symbol for the city. Sadly it wasn't approved, so nowadays, we have the regular old-fashioned St. Paul. Number 8. London was once the capital city of six countries at the same time. 
During the devastation of World War II, London was the safest city in Europe, so the displaced governments of the countries already conquered by Germany took refuge there, making the capital of England also the capital of Poland, Norway, Holland, Belgium, and France. It must have been a bitter pill to take for the French. Number 9. London was found by the Romans. Before the Roman invasion in 43 AD, the city was just a tiny village. Once Romans conquered it, they decided it had a lot of potential, and founded Londinium, a large city with a distinctive trading center and fortified walls. Thank you, Rome. Number 10. London is rainy, or is it? I bet this London fact will surprise you the most. We all know that the capital of England is known for its dreary, rainy weather, right? In reality, however, London gets an average of 583.6 mm of precipitation per year, making it less rainy than Rome, Paris, Istanbul, Barcelona, Sydney, Miami, and New York City. Number 11. London is one of the tiniest towns in England. Nah, I'm not drunk. I know that the population of London is almost 9 million people. This, however, is Greater London, a place large enough to fit Rome and Paris together. When we're talking about the city of London, though, we're talking about the one square mile heart of the city, that is home to 9,000-something people and is technically one of the smallest towns in the UK. Number 12. Raven Tower. I can't have a fun facts list and not include at least one animal fact, right? You probably don't know. But for the last few hundred years, there have always been at least six ravens living in the Tower of London. The legend has it that if they leave, the White Tower is doomed to fall, and a great disaster befalls the kingdom. There are seven currently, and their names are Jubilee, Harris, Grip, Rocky, Aaron, Poppy, and Merlina. They even have a raven master to tend to their needs. Number 13. At the end of Shyburn Lane, turn left. London streets used to have vivid names describing what the road is used for. In addition to the Shyburn Lane, there was also a pissing alley and a few Gropecunt lanes. Number 14. Why the Palace of Westminster is on the bank of Thames River. We continue our facts about London with something curious about the Palace of Westminster, also known as the Houses of Parliament. It turns out that its position on the banks of Thames River is not random but carefully planned. And no, the reason for it is not to look good in pictures. It was made there so a mob can never surround it. The architects didn't think much of their government, I guess. Number 15. London is a forest. Yes, it may sound weird, but London is technically a forest. The capital of England has so many green spaces, that the density of trees it has per square mile qualifies the city, as a forest, according to the United Nations definition. The city even has its own official forestry conservator. Number 16. Land of the Indian Restaurants. Everybody knows that India was a British Empire colony for hundreds of years. That's the reason why the Indian community in London is more significant than any other. To be more precise, Indians in London are over 500,000 or 6.6% of the total city population. And something most of them enjoy is, well, Indian food. That's why it's not that surprising, that London houses over 10,000 Indian restaurants, apparently more than Mumbai. From quickie Indian takeaways to fine dining establishments, if you want to taste the best Indian food on the planet, London is the place. Number 17. Global London. London is probably the most global city in the world. Every year, besides the curse 2020, the capital of England welcomes more than 16 MLN visitors. Almost twice the population of Greater London. It was also estimated that the permanent London residents speak over 300 languages. How is that for cultural diversity? Number 18. Underground Mosquitoes. Our last facts about London with something disturbing. 
The city subway system is so old and vast, that it developed its own ecosystem, including a special breed of mosquito. Named Culex pipiens molestus, this mosquito subspecies is perfectly evolved to live in the underground. They don't need light, don't need water to lay eggs don't even need to hibernate. Don't worry though, I've ridden the tube quite a few times, and can't recall seeing even one of those little biters. They must prefer rats to people. Let us know if you have any question in comment below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video, and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.